Give praise to God for his abundant gifts. A little boy wanted to see God. He knew that this would be a very long trip. So he packed a suitcase full of Twinkies and a six pack of root beer and headed out. When he had gone about three blocks, he saw an old woman sitting in the park, staring at the pigeons. The boy sat down next to her, popped open one of his cans of soda and noticed that the woman looked really hungry. So he offered her a Twinkie, which she accepted and smiled so beautifully, so beautifully that the boy wanted to see that smile again. So he offered her a root beer and she accepted and smiled. They sat together all day, eating and smiling. They never said a word to each other. But as the day grew longer and it began to be dark, the boy realized he was tired and wanted to go home. But as he left, he only got about three steps before he turned around, ran back and gave the woman a gigantic hug. A real hug, not that, not the kind we do now. Um, and went home with this most joyful look on his face. When he walked through the door, his mom said, where have you been? And he said, I had lunch with God. And she has the most beautiful smile. Meanwhile, the woman too went home and her face was radiant. Her son seeing her said, where have you been all day? And she said, I drank soda with God. He's a lot younger than I thought he would be. God is revealed in all sorts of ways. The psalmist today speaks of how the glory of God is revealed in the natural beauty of the seas, the mountains, the meadows. St. Paul tells us that God is bountiful into us in every way so that we can be personal witnesses to God's abundant grace. Moses reminds us we shall have great resources given to remind us of God's love. God is revealed to us in so many ways and through so many gifts. Yet today, as we seek to enumerate God's gifts and to be grateful, it might take some work. Today, we find ourselves struggling to be grateful as we are surrounded by lack and loss and longing. It seems a good day then to suggest a new way to see God and God's blessings. You are the blessing. Blessings do not necessarily accrue to us, but through us, your holy life is a blessing. On the day of my ordination, Meredith sent me a song and the words are from the Abraham story in Genesis, go forth to a land I will show you and you shall be a blessing, go forth. The Genesis story continues, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I think often about that idea of being a blessing. And I think today, as we count and acknowledge our blessings, which are most often given to us, given to us, maybe we can consider our very selves as blessings. 
for we, like Abraham and his spiritual descendants, Moses and Jesus, are followers of God's call. We are the embodied answers to God's call. And as such, we are blessings. We hear God's daily calls to us in the ordinary, everyday details and occurrences of our lives, in Twinkies, in smiles, and also for me, in the sweet hiss of the coffee or teapot, the welcome clunk as the furnace turns on, the very, very welcome ka-chung of the garage door opening to say that Paul's home, in the squeaky scratching of the anti-woodpecker aluminum swirls when the wind blows them against my window panes, the rustling of the leaves, the squeals of delight emanating from my neighbors. All these sounds keep me company. And when I think about them as a divine grace note, They change from being mere noise or even a, nu a nuisance into a revelation, from annoyances to awakenings, all part of the daily conversation with God. Now, I confess, I do not know what God is calling me to by and through these sounds, but I do believe God is in the details. Our God is not only found in the extraordinary, but also in the mundane, in the constancies of life, the ordinary occurrences, which if I will just see them as God's, hear them as God's call, voice, music, my life becomes radiant with God's presence. And to be radiant is to be a blessing. For me, this awareness of being a blessing changes my attitude from a tendency to chronic discontent to a deep awareness of being called by God all the time. To live as a blessing means to me that you and I have been created to be beacons of divine grace, a meeting place for others to greet and be with God. This Thanksgiving day, I give thanks to God for making each of you a blessing in my life. I thank God for your holy lives and I thank you for hearing God's call and divine music and answering it by sharing your lives, your holy blessing lives with me and with one another. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Happy Thanksgiving.